Oh, as you know, I call you guys loads of times talking about the situation at my football club. To be honest with you, Jose Mourinho, I, I called back in the day and I said to you guys when, when you first started, he ain't the man for the job. To be honest with you, that was that was Daniel Levy covering up a big hole that he's messed up with. The fact that we've got players like Dyer. I said on your show before, Pony, Winks, Pony, Aurea, Pony. All oh, it's you. <laughs> all these, mate, all these footballers, yeah, that we've got at the football club. I remember you guys saying a month ago, Tottenham were in a title race. We well, they were. <laughs> they've, they've just removed themselves from it, that's all. Uh, yeah, because, because the quality is not there. And okay, so let me ask you this, Matt. Let me ask you this because I've just—it's amazing. I just Justin has just tweeted us saying, "I think this is Jose sending a message to the board saying I need more in this window." He clearly does rate Ali, uh, doesn't rate Ali or Bale, and he's saying the centre backs are not good enough. Is that right? Would you agree with that? Well, yeah, it's, uh, clearly. The, the, to be honest, Jason Cundy hit the nail on the head last night. Jose doesn't trust his players. Is the reason why he's playing that, that, that system. But to be honest with you, forget Bale, because Bale, let's be honest, 32 years old, you can see his attitude. I don't know whether he's good enough, but, mate, you... He's said, pony! Listen, <laughs> remember, listen, Adrian, you remember, remember, you turned around and said, when Jose come in, that Deli Ali became a rejuvenated footballer. He has got a habit, this guy, Jose, of killing... Top footballers. He killed you. What, uh, what matter? He killed De Bruyne. Deli Ali was good for a while under Jose, though, wasn't he? He did. He did have a resurgence. Adrian Deli Ali is the most talented footballer at the football club, and he's sitting behind watching Sissoko, Winks, Lamella, Holberg, all these sort of footballers in front of him. Don't know what Deli Ali's sitting there going. Do you know what? You look carry on because if you think you're going to win anything, the, the way this team's set up, you've got no chance. Deli Ali. He's sitting and going, I'll go to PSG. And for your information, I know you know about this. Pochettino won, albeit it was a Super Cup, he won his first trophy. And the minute um, Neymar scored that penalty, he went and hugged Pochettino. That's, that's the manager. That's the man we've lost. That was um, an amazing character. That was a Spurs man. And we've lost that because of Daniel Levy. This man has taken us backwards. 20 years. I'll tell you what, if I had enough time, I would write down all those football clubs that have won trophies in the 20 years that he's, he's, had, uh, he's been in charge of our football club. 20 years this man's been here, and he's killed my football team. We have got nothing left of that football team. Take Harry Kane out, and I'm not putting Song in there. I don't care what you lot say about Song. He's a good player, but he's not a world-class player. Harry Kane gives 10 out of 12 every game. That's how good... Harry Kane is. 10 out of 12? Or 12 out of 10. What I'm saying to you is... He's got more to give. To, what I'm saying to you is, Harry Kane, take him out. We are a bang average size. Okay, so let, let's get this straight then, Matt. Very, very quickly, because others want to have their say. Are you saying that you want Mourinho out or you want Mourinho to stay but them to get better players in? Which is it? Well, let's, let me make this clear to you. You say about Jose, right? Jose Mourinho... He's never known to be playing that, uh, the, the Spurs way. He never played the Spurs way. But with Daniel Levy at the helm, he's going to have his hands tied just like Pochettino has. That's why he's playing this, side, this kind of style of football. It's awful. Do you know what? How these pathetic, and I will say this on air, how these pathetic Tottenham fans that back that Daniel Levy for the way he's running his football club, it is, it is beyond a joke. I cannot believe 20 years we've won nothing under this man, and they're happy the way the football... We're now playing. He's taken the life out of our team now. We're playing... We're, I'm sitting there watching, and I'm thinking, one nil up, great goal, and I'm sitting there, and I'm going, oh, my God. I, I had to look to see where Fulham were in the league. They absolutely played us off the park the last half hour. They do play some decent football, though. So, just to get it straight, you want Levy out, you want Mourinho out... And you want all the pony players out at Tottenham. Let me, t let me tell you something, uh, Goffey. Four years ago, this football team, yeah, most of the same players, were challenging for the Premier League title. He kept those same players five years later, and he wants to get Champions League, and that's all he wants. So long as Tottenham get Champions League, and they're in the League Cup final, and they might win that. 
Because I tell you what, I wouldn't put it past Levy having an open top bus for this uh, League Cup final if we win it. That's the type of guy he is. Because this football club deserves, for the money that in the Premier League and the way that we've earned money, selling players, Gareth Bale, wasting all that money. If we've brought in quality, not top quality, we don't need top quality. Because I see other football clubs bringing in quality. The Everton's are bringing it. The Crystal Palaces are bringing it. The, the Leicester's are bringing it. The, the whole lot of them, they're bringing decent footballers. And what have we got? Oh, do you know what? We'll go and bring Vinicius in and put him on the bench. Are oh, we bringing Gareth Bale and like, give him 200 What about Hoiberg? Oh, sorry? Hoiberg. <laughs> well, do you know what? Hoiberg, seriously, mate, Hoiberg is all right. But it's, do you know what? We, we, it's, the worst comes to us, we could have put Eric Dyer there and got in a decent centre back. Because you know what? Daniel Levy gave away our best centre-back at the football club. Best centre-back, Jan Vertonghen, at 32 as well. This is where we're at. This football, club, this football club won't win nothing. And I said it, and I say it on air again, I'll run starkers on the high road if we win a major trophy under Levy. Because we won't, mate. And but you're you know 90 minutes that? away from winning a major trophy, Matt. What, what, what major trophy? Do you not count the League Cup? Are you having a laugh with me? Are you joking with me or what? It's always been considered a major trophy. Um, And uh, surely in Spurs book, it's got to be a major trophy, isn't it? Adrian, mate, we was in a Champions League final two seasons, three seasons ago. And you're talking to me about League Cup. Mate, no one wants to win the League Cup. Do you know the big clubs, the Man City, the Man United, the the Chelsea, the Arsenal's? Do you know when they win these trophies, it adds to their history. We've got dead history now because of Daniel Levy. To win the League Cup, it is an embarrassment to us right now. We don't need to win the, the League Cup. We should be challenging for the title. We should be challenging to win the FA Cup. We're not going to win it. And I can see what Jose wants. Jose's the winner. We know that. But Jose won't have it under uh, Daniel Levy. The, 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 all the questions that he gets asked at the football club, he gets straight away, he twists and turns and gives any answer he wants. But you know that one answer... He answered straight off last night was, you're going to go in the transfer market. And the geezer didn't even have enough time to turn yeah. around and say the last bit of sentence. And he went, no, no, we're not going to be there. So <laughs> but, I tell you, 